Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I am going to do something that I've done in other articles of mine, but I don't believe I've done in any of my past videos. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to start a conversation for us to have about the intersection of humanism and peace and conflict studies, especially on a practical level where peace and conflict studies is devoted to enabling people to peacefully resolve conflicts without resorting to violence and without making conflicts negative, because not all conflicts conflicts are negative. So the definition of humanism that I'm going to use is the definition of humanism provided by the American Humanist Association, which is that humanism is a progressive philosophy of life that without theism or other supernatural beliefs affirms our ability and responsibility to lead ethical lives of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good. That is a practical definition of humanism that I quite like. I know that there are others. I know that some people might disagree. That's fine. I would love to know how you define humanism and how it is that you use humanism on a day-to-day -day basis, but for right now, for this conversation, this is the definition I'm going to use. Humanism and conflict work, which is the most practical way to apply peace and conflict studies, at the very least in my experience as someone who is a scholar of peace and conflict studies and as someone who is a conflict worker, often share these things in common. Humanism and conflict work both prioritize human life over other things, such as ideological superiority and ideological loyalty. They also emphasize common human needs among people who are in arguments and people who are in disagreements, and they both seek rational solutions to problems, and they both often deal with bad ideas. And these things are important because these are the reasons why it is that I think that humanists and conflict workers can get along and can work together to make conflict work more common among humanists and to empower humanists to be better at dealing with conflicts as they occur in real life. I think many of the ideas that conflict workers and that scholars of peace and conflict studies actively practice themselves, such as nonviolent communication and radical compassion, are ideas that are very compatible with humanism, and I would like to see more people trying to abdicate for these ideas and make it so that more humanists can learn about these ideas, which is part of the reason why that's something that I myself am doing. I've written to conferences and I've written to organizations about teaching, about nonviolent communication, and about radical compassion. I've actually even gotten some interesting responses from some of these groups, and I have made connections who would like for me to work with their groups about nonviolent communication and about radical compassion and about other ideas that are common within contexts of conflict work and contexts of peace and conflict studies. I think that this is wonderful and it's something that's very exciting for me because it's something that I can put on my resume and it's also something that will help me gain the experience that I need in order to work towards one of my bigger goals which is the creation of an organization that connects humanists and conflict workers and helps us learn from each other. and also also empowers people like me who are both humanists and conflict workers already. I think that this sort of organization is a great idea, although I don't know how to go about creating it, but I am talking to people, I'm building interest in this, and eventually I want to create a website and I want to start to see if people would be interested in getting training from me and other conflict workers and scholars of peace and conflict studies about these sorts of ideas and about better ways for us to go about engaging with people who disagree with us and also to go about diffusing conflicts within our communities and elsewhere. I want to know what you guys know about peace and conflict studies and I also want to know what you guys thought of this video. I would love to hear if you are a member of an organization or if you're just someone who would like to have more chats about things like nonviolent communication, radical compassion, and peace and conflict studies. And it's also worth noting that radical compassion and nonviolent communication do not necessarily stem from people who are scholars of peace and conflict studies or who are members of that community, but just people who want to abdicate for ethical communication, people who want to abdicate for less violent means of getting ideas across. And those are ideas that many people involved in peace and conflict work and peace and conflict studies that I know of are fond of, and I myself am fond of. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I look forward to having a conversation with you all in the comments down below. Hey everyone, I've missed you guys a whole lot. I'm excited to be back on YouTube making more videos. I have been very busy between work and school ever since I started working for the American Atheists in late August, but I am here now. I'm very excited to be back, and as always, if you guys want to connect with me, you can always chat with me on Twitter or on Discord. Both of those links are in the description down below. I'll talk to you soon.